I'm taking a look at a project that certainly is not new. People who have uh, been on social media, uh, seen crowdfunding, have known about Jack Irons, a steel cowboy, for quite some time. But uh, it's it's long past time, way overdue, actually, that I take a look at it myself and tell you uh, how much I love this project and this team. Hey everybody, this is Perch. Um, I, I, of course, I've, I've followed uh, the Jack Irons account on Twitter for quite some time. I'm familiar with the character and the work, and uh, I've been a fan of it for kind of an odd reason. Um, one of the uh, the comics that I've enjoyed certainly most over the last five years or so has been East of West by Jonathan Hickman. The idea of blending in kind of a, a Western kind of philosophy along with a apocalypse into the world tale and plenty of science fiction it's kind of right up my alley in terms of the story I like to uh, to enjoy. I like mashups of genres, and so uh, coming around to to Jack Irons, I really enjoyed the world building, the the comic story that was putting put together, the very very original characters that were uh, that were that were being brought to the table, and I've I've just uh, so I've, I've been a fan of this project for a long time and. Generally speaking, when I'm a fan, I struggle more with how to describe it, how to properly pitch and convey, um, uh, you know, the, the project. Because not everything is for everyone. Certainly, there are different tastes and, and different qualities of projects. And so, things I personally enjoy, I often have the hardest time recommending. But we do have a campaign that's going on right now. Is so it just a couple days left? Um, and this is a project that desperately needs more backing more support and um and more uh, you know more uh, people getting involved because it's it's a really good project it's a project that has product already made it looks beautiful and it uh it reads wonderfully so to kind of to back up a second set stage here the the primary character jack irons is the uh kind of lone uh steel cowboy if you will and he narrates the story and helps introduce readers into this big uh, apocalyptic sci-fi world and uh, it he helps make that the narration and the character helps ease you into a lot of, kind of crazy concepts there's parts of this and this is a science fiction element that could easily tip over and be very hard for people to understand and digest um, if they're if they're not really immersed in the character and, and a book like this is often difficult for people to come up to speed on it um, but because they've got this familiar, almost folksy uh, hero that uh, that is that is helping guide you through the story, um, it it makes it work. It it helps it uh, fit. Uh, Jack Irons is a man trapped in two kinds of eternity, uh, which is another again. It's this blending of uh, old west kind of philosophies and sci-fi concepts. So the main character has the memories of hundreds, maybe thousands of past lives. Uh, this is something that that is is been done in sci-fi before, but not terribly often. So it feels very original. It feels very fresh here. And his current body is unkillable and immortal. All right. So those two combinations together give us a very unique person, somebody who does not fit in the world he's describing. And and there, as you read the story and you get into the comic, that's one of the big elements that really comes through in the pages that you're you're reading the story of a person who's describing the world, but is not of the world. Um, it feels like a foreign, foreign care, you know, a person who's foreign to his own story. And that's a, that's a huge benefit here because we're supposed to follow this character. We're supposed to um, watch the, the trials and the, the tribulations of this person. And, and you, you immediately, uh, you're made aware of the fact that, that this person is apart from his world. I don't know if I'm describing this in the best way, but it's a good dynamic to have for a character. And again, it's a little bit like in East of West, they would use some of the dynamic of death to do the same thing. But but East of West had, you know, was trying to spin multiple plates at the same time, had multiple characters. Here we get a nice focal point uh, with Jack Irons himself and, and what he does. The comics I've read and looked at, again, it, it, it does a good job of telling you a little bit about the world, progressing the action, telling you a little bit about more about the world, progressing the action. This is another thing that I think a lot of comics get wrong, and this title does well, is that 
you don't get this giant info dump kind of in your face. And then you, you know, you have to wade through several pages of world building. And then we, they drop you into the situation. It's like, okay, you did your homework and now here's the story. This comic does a good job blending it back and forth. So you feel like stuff's moving forward and moving along. You know, Jack Irons is sitting at the bar. There's a fight going on. We're learning a little bit about the character, what he's made of. And we're learning a little bit about the world. Simultaneously, we're seeing how things work and we're introducing these characters. But we're not just getting this, uh, this here's some information just, you know, crammed into your face, which is, again, it's, it's, it's a common trope. It's a pain. Um, you do get the sense in this comic uh, that there's a lot more to this world. You know, we're getting little little hints of different parts of the territory, different regions, different ways that, that things um, are playing out. And this could have the same kind of sprawling mythology of a uh, an East and West or, or even like some of Conan's uh, early stories. It does have that ability to tell a much bigger story. And as a reader, I kind of sit here and, and think, um, it's a shame that this wasn't, you know, this isn't a monthly title on the shelves because there is a lot of story to tell. And I just, I know I'm never going to get all of the story that I would like out of this universe, which is, is kind of the, the frustrate. If I have a frustration with that comic, it's that it's that we're going to get a core story. We're certainly building the universe that we're going to get a lot out of, but what I'm not getting is uh, is a monthly title where they could really explore this over the course of, you know, five to 10 years, because that's the amount of, of world building that's that's gone on, and for a crowdfunded book, um, it's it's pretty amazing that you have uh, you have this level of detail, this level of involvement in putting together this world. Even though the the author, the creators, have to know that they're never actually going to get to all of the story potential that they have. Uh, Cody Fernandez, the writer, the creator, um, it has put together a world he's never going to fully explore, and I, I hope he does. I mean, this would be you know, uh, Wick, WKD, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say Wicked, uh, uh, I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say here for the publisher, um, but uh, I'll, I'll, I should, I should figure that out. Um, <laughs> here's me screwing up. Um, I, I think that uh, this is part of the Ironverse Comics kind of brand that has been put together, and uh, they've teamed with some good partners to put this stuff out, and I just hope that this can go more places than where it's at right now. Um, you know, I, I, the, 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 the line art uh, by Maxi Dalio, I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, uh, colors by Steve Cannon, uh, look very incredible. Vincent Rush is doing a good job on lettering uh, Zero Fox with the logo. Logo looks, looks very much in fitting with that world of, of kind of Western and danger and everything else. Jack Iron's a steel cowboy. But this is a well-packaged book. And Again, it, it flies under the radar with a lot of crowdfunded books, but the quality is far higher than most campaigns I've seen that are making uh, a lot more or have the benefit of uh, kind of outrage hype on various YouTube channels. This is just a solid book. This deserves attention. It deserves funding. Um, it deserves readers because I want to see where this story goes. Um, a lot of little touches here. Uh, there, there's not skimping on the details or the backgrounds. You know, we want to render a full uh, background in a city. We're getting it. We want to show kind of how different, uh, you know, the the New World Army and the New Regime are building uh, kind of what looks like clone soldiers or at least uh, modifying soldiers for nefarious purposes. We're, we're seeing the details and we're seeing the machines and we're seeing the backgrounds. I mean, how sad is it? In 2020, I'm having to compliment somebody for actually finishing the panel and putting in the backgrounds and the mountains and collapsed buildings and everything else. Um, it just speaks to how many people cheap out on that and just draw a panel with, you know, here's a gradient in the background and that's all you get. So, I mean, there's there's certainly not a, a skimping on the art in this, in this uh, book, but the pages flow really nicely. The panels go from page to page. I, I just, I think it's, it's a really solid title uh, what we have here and i think they uh, the creator did a good job i'm hoping i can get an interview with him very shortly to talk more about kind of what he does and kind of his plans for this world and where it all goes but um definitely it, it's a solid book and i think yeah, yeah. I, i'm gonna sound like a broken record here it's just there's more cast and more characters and more situations and more environment than we're able to get to in this one campaign. So what I want it to do is I want it to succeed. I want it to go places because there's a lot of love in this book. That's clear. There's a lot of effort and care in the story that's being uh, 
Lawrence at all. Um, the, the little introduction there, would love for you all and plenty of adventures to tell. Yeah, no kidding. So let's make sure that however we're doing this, you're getting a, a publisher or some stability or something because you badly need uh, this to continue. There's just, there's a lot of, of really good stuff here and uh, it just, it needs to go forward. This is a book with some care. And again, the idea of kind of insurmountable odds, this world is against him. The hero itself is you know, very powerful with both memories and immortality and how he's able to convey things also very savvy, even though he has these abilities, not just blundering through and, and bulldozing his way through a situation. They show some cleverness and some capability in what he can do. This is a good book. Uh, lots to read. It's not a quick read. There's a lot here to look at, a lot to digest. Um, this isn't a book that you're going to you know, pick up and in 10 minutes you're done. This is something that you get to actually have some meat on it, which is awesome. And, uh, and, and just a lot of really wonderful mythology, a lot of kind of New Mexico uh, and, uh, parts to this that I don't know if that's you know, in the background of the creators, but it definitely has that um, kind of uh, Native American kind of spiritual feel to it, which is, uh, which is very cool. So I love it. I think it's a great project. I'm going to see if I can get the creators on to talk to them a little bit more about where they're going, their ambitions. But this is one of those projects where when I see it, I think, how can I, um, how do I get this person hooked up with a, a publisher or somebody? Uh, they're, they're already hooked up with a publisher, but I mean, how do I get this person hooked up with some consistent funding? Because this needs to continue. It can't, it can't be a, a short-term project. This, this demands uh, more comics out on a regular basis. This needs the six to 12 issues a year. So how do we get there? Uh, how do we get that, that, that out there? So uh, really good stuff. Um, Jack Irons, Steel Cowboy. Uh, certainly it's on Indiegogo. You can fund it. It's uh, got lots and lots of tiers. Lots of other people have done that, but you can come in at a, a very cheap uh, offering. They've got a store bundle for retailers. Definitely going to push this in some retailer channels uh, that I'm in. But you've got a digital only, you got, a, you got an initial price tier at five bucks. I mean, that is uh, a great deal. You should definitely go in on that. And, um, and yeah, this is, it, it's nice to see good quality work by some people who clearly care about the craft. So, uh, well done. Uh, do you, are, are you, do you know this book? Are you familiar with these people? Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, uh, help me. Let's get these people some more promotion so they can keep building out this world because it's rare. You see a comic like this and you think to yourself, yeah, I need to see the extra 100 stories set in this universe. So let's, let's find a way to make that happen. Um, hey, uh, if you'd like this, like, subscribe, uh, throw, you can see the link for the Indiegogo in the uh, description, as well as the Twitter handle. Go check these people out, throw them some love. Most importantly, thanks for checking it out and thanks for listening.